Team Gamer here, and well, here it is, the mandatory commentary video for this Spiral Abyss. So, um, as always for this Spiral Abyss commentary videos, I have to basically explain everything. So, Team Comps, how enemies work, um, basically going into the Spiral Abyss with greater detail. So basically, you can listen to this Spiral Abyss and see the footage and listen to the beautiful sound of my own voice. So yes. So um, for this floor, I basically just ran like a typical team. Um, I wanted to use Arlo more, um, AKA Arlenkino. I just call her Arlo for short because Arlo is just way faster to say. But as you see here, I just ran like a mix comp for Arlo. And then for the second half, um, well, I just ran, I think, the Hotel Double Hydro team. So yeah, um, your typical Hotel Double Hydro. And then for first half, I just ran like a, a random team. Um, I didn't really care what to put on the Arlo team. But I did run one team that is pretty good on her. Which is, well, as you see here, I put Chevrus on the team. Overload! Yeah, so Arlie Kino Overload is actually a pretty good team. So um, if you guys don't know that... Well, now you do. So, yeah. Well, anyways, here is floor 11, chamber 1. This is a monolith floor. So, yeah, they brought these things back. So, of course, in every monolith floor, you either have to, one, bring a um, crowd controller so you deal with the enemies fast, or two, you can run DPSs like what I'm doing here with um, Arlo, who is just dishing out as much damage as she can. Look at those numbers right there. Pretty high damage overall. So yeah. But um, yeah, there's either one or two ways you can deal with these. You can either one, um, again, run a crowd controller. So Venti, Kazuha, or two, just run a DPS team. But as for what teams to run to be specific, first half has a bunch of cryo enemies. So Pyro is definitely the way to go on the uh, first half. For the second half, well, it's a little bit different for the second half. And you'll see what I mean here. Um, once, well, I start the second half. As you see here, there are shrooms. And also a bunch of other random enemies as well. So, if you want to deal with those, you can just basically run an animal team. Again, a crowd controller. So you can deal with some of the flying enemies, aka the uh, flying shrooms as you see there. Or, you can just run your best team. So, yeah. Uh, choose one of the two. You should be fine. But I see here, I mean, look at that. Hu Tao team still pretty good to this day um, I did mess up a bit here because I got stuck on the monolith as you see there yeah sometimes if you do attack you can get stuck on the monolith which sucks you don't want that to happen but if it does happen well it sucks to suck <laughs> which is what uh, basically I'm saying to myself because I mean look at that I'm still stuck on the monolith so yeah just keep that in mind if you are gonna be doing monolith floors um, Sometimes you might get stuck and sometimes enemies can get stuck on the monolith. So basically it's more risky to basically just um, have them be stuck there. So you want to get them out of there as soon as possible. So yeah. But chamber two, first half is just a bunch of random enemies again. Because you get Vishaps, you get Samurai, you get a bunch of random enemies. Um, just bring your best teams and you should be fine. Same thing with the second half. The second half has just a bunch of random enemies. So yeah. Um, yeah, as you see there, I'm not kidding. It's literally random. You you got you got a bunch of random enemies, uh, as I said before. You got samurai. You got vishaps. You got the robots. You got geo vishaps for some reason. And then you're gonna get the other vishaps from um, Enkonomia. So yeah, it, it's it's really weird. It's a really really weird uh, chamber. So just bring your best team, and you should be fine because all of these are not susceptible. To basically anything, you could just um, do any elemental damage and you should be fine. But as for the second half, however, you can't do that because there's a bunch of slimes with a bunch of elements. There's also um, a bunch of annoying enemies too. Remember the specters? Yeah, they're here too. Oh yeah, whopper flowers? Yeah, don't forget about those either. So yeah, this uh, chamber is actually pretty annoying because, well, whopper flowers, they love to dig underground. Specters, you can only damage them with other elements other than itself. So yeah, um, basically just run a mixed elemental comp and you should be fine. But yeah, uh, basically your main answer for these, uh, well, specters and also the other slimes and uh, whopper flowers is, well, say it with me, 
animal characters, aka crowd controllers. Because crowd controllers, when Swirl does um, damage, it deals damage on their element. So yeah, it's pretty good. And also, there are no um, animal specters. So you can literally freely attack on this floor and you should be fine. So yeah, but as you see there, um, I'm just basically cleaning up shop. I mean, all I have to do is just deal with one more enemy. But the last few enemies um, just have shields. So basically just bring the corresponding element and you should be fine. So yeah, there you go. And then here we have chamber three. Um, not that bad either. Um, it's not really that bad. The only thing you have to worry about for, I think, the uh, second half of Chamber 3 is the Ruined Drakes and then the Animo um, Hilly Churl. But other than that, you should be fine. But first half, remember when I said bring a Pyro character on the um, first half of Chamber 1? This is the reason why you should bring a Pyro character because you're going to be dealing with a bunch of uh, Cryo Shields. So yeah, um, Arlen Kino right here is perfect for this. And also, remember that this uh, ley line buff that you get on um, this floor in particular, you get 75% pyro damage bonus. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of that and dish out the pain, as you see there. So yeah, um, basically that is the uh, first half done. Quickly got swept through. And here's the second half. So yeah, animal hilly churls with a bunch of robots. So yeah. Um, really nothing to say here other than nuke them down, nuke them down. <laughs> so yeah, um, you're just trying to basically complete this as fast as possible. So yeah, um, but I see here, you have to deal with the robots as you see there. You have to deal with this one, and then after you deal with this one, you're gonna have to deal with the drakes. You have to deal with two of them, by the way. So good luck. <laughs> as you see there, there, there's one drake, and then once I defeat this with, uh, the broken as crap Hutal team. You have to deal with the other Drake. And they love flying in the air. So good luck trying to hit them too. So yeah. But if they stick to the ground like this. Where their tail is on the ground. Then it's pretty easy to hit them. So yeah. Keep that in mind if you are going to be attempting to challenge this abyss. So yeah. But there is 411 right there. Pretty easy. I mean look at that. Bam. Challenge completed. So yeah. But anyways. It's time to cut to 412. So let's just do that. And here is floor 12. Oh boy. So the reason why I have a 5 out of 9 in the rewards is because I did say it back then in uh, when I attempted the Spiral Abyss for the first time. I did say that I was scouting the Abyss. So I basically chose my team comps accordingly. So here's me right now deciding what to choose. Um, I did like, as you see there, I did like a double take on um, all of these um, enemies to basically plan out the perfect team for this. And I will admit right now, this is probably not the perfect team because I was just thinking of uh, basically running like probably like a mix of the best of the best with like some other stuff too. So yeah, but as you see here on the first half, um, I will just explain it right here right now because I'm still trying to decide what to choose. On first half, I just ran a team with Arlequino, Zhongli, Yelon, and Bennett, aka Vaporize or Hyper Carry. Um, either one of the names is fine. For second half, I ran the Hyper Bloom team, or if you want to call it the Soup team, as you see there. This is the team I ran right there <laughs> to get the no retry on this abyss. So yeah, but here it is, floor twelve, chamber one. Not bad. <laughs> you have to deal with the puppets, and then for the second half, you have to deal with a bunch of enemies, really annoying enemies to be specific. But yeah, as you see there, look at that damage. 100,000 damage. This is the reason why I see 6 Bennett, you guys. C6 Bennett is broken. <laughs> Absolutely busted. But yeah. Um, as you see there, not really that bad. You just have to basically deal as much damage as you can. And then there they go. They die instantly. So yeah. And then for the second half, you have to deal with annoying enemies. So I hope you love Kiragi's. I hope you love Aramites, and I hope you love the operatives. So yeah, um, that is what you have to deal with for this uh, second half. This is more harder than the first half, because for the first half, it's just three puppets that are big bodies. So you can just deal AoE damage by accident, and then deal like a bunch of damage, basically. 
For a second half, you have to deal with smaller enemies, aka you have to gather them up. That is why I brought Kazuha here, because Kazuha um, gathers them up. But, yeah. So, basically, for the uh, second half, you have to deal with the Kiragi fast. Make sure to kill them at the same time, or else they heal themselves. If you don't, then they heal themselves. <laughs> for uh, the second part of this um, second half, Deal with the Pyro Slingers first before they bring out their shields, and then you can deal with the Mirror Maidens. And then after you deal with the Mirror Maiden, you have to deal with the final obstacle of the second half, the Operatives with their extremely high health pools. So yeah, uh, good luck. Good luck trying to beat this uh, second half. But if you are um, really, really uh, broken, or if you have really broken characters, and if you could deal a lot of damage, then you can out damage them enough to where you could probably get the three star clear as what I am doing right here. I mean, look at this. I'm just mashing away, just trying to deal as much damage as I can. And also trying to hide Nahida because Nahida is literally tissue paper. So yeah, um, make sure if you are running Nahida, hide your Nahida because if you get hit, you're going to die. So yeah, but there is the, uh, there is chamber one pretty easy. Um, overall, so yeah. And here is Chamber 2. Oh boy, the nemesis of the Coppelius, the, the freaking robots. So, the dancing duo right here, you can either do one of two things. One, which I'm doing right now, do pyro damage to get rid of its shield, as you see there. Um, I just got rid of it right now. Or two, do an Usia reaction, aka the dark reaction for Fontaine characters. So, you can either do Usia or you could do. Well, pyro damage. Keep in mind that the blessing of uh, this uh, period that I was doing right now, aka the first period, not the second period, by the way, the first period, increases pyro uh, reactions. And when you do pyro reactions, you basically decrease the physical and elemental res of the opponent. So keep that in mind. Um, you might not know this, but I did run this on first period. So yeah, um, but... I took advantage of that to deal as much pile damage as I can, and there you go. There is the uh, boss done in under a minute. So yeah. And for the second half, this is where um, the hardest part of the abyss is, or one of the hardest parts, because uh, the Baptist is also pretty hard too. Spoiler alert for Chamber Three, but yeah. But first, you have to deal with three Fatui operatives. Make sure you deal with them before they turn invisible, because they are pretty annoying when they're invisible. Um, once you do that, you have to deal with the Eremites. Remember to deal with their personas, aka the crocodile and the bird they summon, to deal uh, big damage to them and also decrease their elemental resistance. So yeah, um, basically deal with them as fast as possible so that you can get to the lectors fast. You need to get to the lectors fast. So yeah, there you go. There's the lectors right there. So these are two electro lectors. You can literally stand in the middle right here and gather them to you. They literally go towards you, so keep that in mind. But um, I did deal with them one at a time because it's way easier to do that. Um, which I recommend you do not because you can push them away. So yeah. But um, try to get them to low health so that they can summon their shields right here. Um, deal uh, an, an element that basically can deal with Electro, aka Dendro, on my case. You can do Pyro as well. Pyro does it way faster. Um, but Dendro also works too because you can do Dendro reactions and Bloom particles, as you see there with my Kokomi, um, works as well. So you can just do Bloom damage. But yeah, basically do anything, and I mean absolutely anything, to try to get their shields down. Because it is a race on the clock. You need to basically deal as much damage as you can. But as you see there, I basically got it in the back because both of their um, uh, shield pools are pretty low. And plus, Nahida does AoE damage, or quote-unquote, because I tagged both of them. So yeah, as long as I was able to do elemental reactions, um, Nahida's passive will proc. So yeah, that's how I was able to get rid of their shields pretty quickly um, with that team. But yeah, basically, just basically bring any character that can deal with shields. So yeah. And here's Chamber 3 first half. This is probably one of the easiest, um, I think, chambers in, in this uh, version. Because you basically just have to deal with random enemies. Random enemies that aren't strong, by the way. Because you have to deal with basically the cryo um, gunners. You have to deal with samurai and weak Aramite enemies. And in here, you have to deal with uh, weak robots as well. And also, you have to deal with the weak big robot. So yeah, it's basically... 
they're trying to prepare you for what is going to happen on the second half because the second half is where all the meat and potatoes are for this floor because the second half is the stuff of nightmares so yeah basically what i'm trying to say is try to deal with this floor as fast as possible because you need the time and i mean need it for this next upcoming um battle in the second half so yeah as you see there i'm just trying to like deal as much damage as i can to get to the second half because i need all the time in the world for this annoying annoying enemy the baptist so if you fought this thing before he only appeared once in this spiral abyss he appears again so uh good luck guys so um well, for the Baptist, you basically have to deal with three shields. The first one, as you saw there, is Pyro. The second one he brings out is Cryo. You have to basically do um, elemental reactions to get rid of its shields. And the third reaction it basically brings out is Electro. Remember that. Remember that order. So basically, you have to deal with you have to use Hydro characters to deal with the Pyro shield. You have to use Pyro characters to deal with the Cryo Shield. I didn't bring a Pyro character, by the way, so I have to basically do this with a Raiden because Raiden reacts to um, Cryo. And then on the uh, third shield, he'll pull it up right now. Electro! You either do Dendro damage or you do Pyro damage. So yeah, so it's um, Hydro, Pyro, Pyro, um, basically is what you should use. But I ran the Hyper Bloom team because it just does way too much damage. As you see there, so once you deal with all of its shields, it goes down for at least, I think, around 20 to 30 seconds. Deal as much damage as you can because once it gets up and once it does its thing, it basically um, gets its shields back. So you don't want that to happen. So yeah, but there you go. I persevered and I basically nuked them down once I got all the shields down. So yeah, there you go. If you don't do it in time, by the way, he gets his shields back up. So you basically want to nuke him down as fast as possible. So keep that in mind. So, yeah. so there you go. There is this uh, Spiral Abyss um, done. Pretty easy overall. I mean, uh, well, at least for me. For free-to-play players, uh, good luck, guys. Good luck. And as well as new, um, new people who are attempting the Abyss, good luck with this one. Good luck with the Baptist. Good luck with the Lecters. Uh, good luck with everything, basically, because, uh, well, I hope luck is on your side. So, yeah. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching this uh, Spiral Abyss commentary video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, and also turn on the notification bell if you do subscribe to not miss out on a single upload. Again, any amount of support is greatly appreciated, guys. Um, all of the support fuels me to help me... Um, make more videos so yeah again without you guys i wouldn't be here so thank you guys so much for the support and also comment down below what do you think of this spiral miss you think it's easy you think it's hard you think it's okay what are the some of the uh tougher sections do you agree with my opinions or do you not let me know in the comments down below and as always thank you guys for watching this spiral abyss commentary video and i'll see you guys in the next genshin video